What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. Hope everyone is doing well. Check out the uh, about section of the channel as well as the description box below if you'd like to book a personal reading with me. I'm doing love readings for all the signs for March. And the sign Leo came up. You guys had... 438 views. So I guess it's not that bad. What are the messages for Leo? Ooh, something about karma. You're rolling with it, though. Someone definitely made a decision. <laughs> I think that your angels are helping you kind of heal some feminine energy as well. There's definitely some challenges that you've been through, but at the same time, maybe with a marriage, but at the same time, you've learned a lot about companions and, you know, that true love is selfless and what's not real and, you know, you're being honest with yourself and other people and you know that maybe it was time for some things to end. You have the lovers the star card and the nine of cups so like i said this is about you learning a lot about partnerships about what true love really is you know so you guys have a lot of memories um but at the end of the day i feel like you just want this like real love you want this loyalty um your solar plexus and your root chakra might need some work but i feel like there's a conversation you know kind of you want to be honest with this person um maybe that you're in a marriage with and you're trying to be respectful but i don't know if you can bring balance and resolution to this situation with this person because of whatever reason um you used to think that there was nothing that could kind of like break this up but i think that it surprised you in the way that you've learned so much about this and you know, you want better for your children. You are doing more things where you normally wouldn't have held yourself back. You're practicing more self-discipline. And I feel like when the Wheel of Fortune spins and, you know, the karmic wheel is going to be in your favor. You have the Emperor, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Nine... Is it the Nine of Cups? No, it's the Seven of Cups. So, some of you guys could be doing a little shopping. Some of you guys might need to save your money, but I do feel like um, you're not budging when it comes to a certain situation because you know you're smart enough now. Like, you just kind of have a way of knowing things. You know, some of you guys could be going out. Maybe you're taking someone shopping or maybe you're, you know, taking care of this person that you're with or you want to, you know, because I think that you want to tell this person how you feel about them or they want to tell you how they feel about you. But you know that there's a lot of work that needs to be done on your heart. And right now you just kind of want to laugh and you want to have fun. You know, go out more, socialize. And, you know, you're overcoming these challenges. And you do have a lot of guides around you. And you're growing. So it's important to not be afraid of that. And to remember what you've been through. And who people truly are in your life. So that you don't go down the same roads that you might have in the past. Um, there's a sense of freedom here, you know, um, there's a lot of issues and challenges in a certain situation for some of you, and um, there's just a lot of drama, that's basically, so you're kind of protecting yourself from that, and, you know, you're having the courage and the determination to um, go for the partnership you actually want, you know, um, making the right decisions, even if that means going to court, even if that means telling yourself you're going to be successful, even if you don't know if you will be, you know, you have a lot of personal power, you have the heart of a lion, you know, you guys are really strong, and you're good people at the core, and you have a lot of abilities, and you've also learned so much that it's like, if you were to just show yourself the same compassion that you want so much from another person, that things could really change, you have the ability to change that, the three of cups, the three of wands, and the ten of pentacles, some of you guys know that the this person was just doing too much. So now you're kind of like taking a step out on your own. And 
you're gaining this stability for yourself and for your family. I do feel like some of you guys are going to be receiving a lot of gifts. I mean, what are y'all buying? I feel like you guys are going on a lot of dates. Um, there could be some gossip and some lies about something, but it's important not to listen to that and to just know the truth like that you already know and not listen to what other people have to say. You know, Practice this honesty in your life to yourself, to other people. This compassion, this peace, um, and don't play with maybe the people that try to help you or that have been there for you. I do feel like there was an accident, you know, for some of you guys. Um, you had to learn kind of through it all the hard way about what a true partnership is and what you will and will not accept. And through experience and your decisions, you know, a lot of it has to do with your past energy, uh, father energy people you were around, um, were they really helpful or not? You know what I mean? I think that if you're honest with yourself, maybe it's better that you don't have so much to do with other people because it's like a game to some people, you know? There's a, little, <clears throat> there's a need to have patience with yourself or this person as the he this healing is going on because you need to find this like inner zen, you know, things are definitely changing, things definitely needed to change um, with this person, you're finding yourself, you're finding your individuality, and you're going to overcome whatever it is that you're going through, and you have friends, you know, um, you have a Cupid by Lloyd and Pablo de Don, can't Help But Wait by Trey Songs, and Tired Heart by B. Mike and Nyx. Um, you guys are definitely healing something, and like people are like following in your footsteps. When it comes to marriage, listen to yourself. Remember everything that you've learned. Remember, you know, maybe it's time to take it slow with some people and just be friends. Um, that you have the ability to be positive no matter what happens, and um, that you can be happy no matter what you've been through. It's important to teach yourself that, teach your kids that, show compassion, have more compassion for yourself. You guys are definitely leaving a legacy and you're very strong. You know, you have a lot of people that kind of like look up to you, whether or not they admit it out loud or not. There is a lot of feelings around maybe a message or a letter that someone wrote, but I just feel like you guys want to try something new, but you're kind of keeping it on the down low. But at the end of the day, like, this is what this person wishes for. This is what this person wants, you know. You were a gift to them in their life. You were a leader. You protected them. You were like a good luck charm to them in their life. And it was just like you guys got so stuck in a routine. And it was just like you didn't really know what it was going to take for you to be free or what it was going to take to go and find yourself. But because you made that decision for yourself, you know, you're figuring out more things about yourself and that it's okay to be on your own, that... You can do all things, you know, trust yourself more, basically. You're capable, you know, you'll have the right person that you you need. Just go on a few dates, get the, the chicks and flowers or vice versa, you know. This is broken record left on repeat. Mentally, I'm drained. I want to be with you. You don't understand what I'm going through. I had way too much to drink. Sometimes I say things I don't mean. And sometimes I feel like I'm better off alone. The higher I go, the harder I fall. There's a lot of... This person might be in like a negative mindset. Or maybe you are. And it's important to remember that no matter what you're going through. To keep the right vision about your life. That no matter what you can bring back balance and harmony to any situation. That there's a plan for your life. That the, real, the reality of the situation is that you're being told what to do. You're doing the right thing. Don't get caught up and settle for less than you're worth. You know, that you can adapt to anything. You've been through worse, right? You can get through this, but you need to do some meditation. You know, remember the people that have helped you and return the favor for some of you. And to not, like, overdo it when it comes to money, like, you know, or things. You guys are healing and you're learning how to work together with other people and, you know, you're going after what it is that you want, but just make sure that it's for the right reasons, whether it's this person or not, like what inspires you, what is helpful, you know, what can make you laugh. Um, 
what is like a fixture like you know that you have the ability to discern this person really likes your conversations they feel like you're really in tune with them they like your loyalty your expression this level of mystery that you have whatever piercings that you have or jewelry that you wear your femininity your courage your confidence your hair and your determination I feel like you see this person as really beautiful or they see you as like they can see the change in you and it's like a good change, you know. Um, some of you guys need to try out some essential oils that might help if you're having any kind of pain um, and go on that trip that you want to go on and take care of your health because it's important, you know, and have faith in your future. There is like really intimidating, intense energy around you especially when it comes to like money maybe for whatever reason because you have a lot of potential and ideas you're in the middle of a transition you know some of you guys might need to watch your siblings around your money for some of you but at the same time um, don't let the stress and stuff get you down just try to tune into your intuition and listen to your guides because they're trying to encourage you. They're trying to teach you. They're trying to show you that you can get through things. Some of you guys have some karmic things that you're going through. And maybe it looks like it's going to be bad. But at the same time, maybe it's not going to be as bad as you think. Because you have unexpected things coming in into your life. And then you have kindness. So I feel like the kindness that you've shown other people or yourself will be coming back to you. And remember, whatever you put out into the universe comes back to you, good or bad. You have replenished. Some of you guys need to get some sleep. It's important to give and receive when it comes to money. So whatever you put out there comes back type of thing. And just set the right boundaries with people in your life so that you can really be happy. Because you're being triggered a lot by people around you and it's affecting your health. So I feel like... Um, this person wants to, like, to go out more. Maybe you guys need to get out more and like socialize with people um think about the people that are actually helpful to you think about um there's something to do with your past and your father and something to do with the ego some of you guys um need to remember like some of you guys will have a lot of like good fortune coming to you and it's going to be kind of unexpected so don't make any big purchases or decisions until like march 10th i think when mercury 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 comes out of record great I can't even talk retrograde, but um, your ancestors are showing you what you need to do to do or to get you where you want to be when it comes to your career and just have the right vision when it comes to the outcome. You have the letter K, O, N, L, U, and Q. Think of your desires, never your fears. And there's something about your siblings that you're like kind of unaware of, so maybe it's time to pay attention to that maybe this is about learning to love yourself and like appreciating the people around you because I feel like someone is having health issues and they need you so that's all I have for you guys I hope you have a good night